For many years at Sunrise Ranch, we've taught the basic process of merger. For those of you who have been here for a while, you may not be aware that that's what you were learning. We call, we call it the one law of creation. The one law of creation is a law of merger. And if you think about it, that's exactly what it's saying. And I'll recite it to you for those who, of you who know it, it'll be just bringing it to mind. And for some of you, it's probably new. It's a process that begins with radiation. There has to be some creative radiation that attracts the merger. Right? That is how merger happens. There's something radiating from somebody else or something else that's life-giving. And in that radiation, there's response, which is the next phase of the process. There's a response to what's being radiated and an attraction. So there's a coming together, and then there's a merger, which we speak of as a union. The two become one, and the final step is that there's unified radiation. Now in that union, what was two is one, and it's radiating something into the field that's being shared by, by the two together. A beautiful, beautiful process. When it really gets to be exciting is when you're inviting that other person to be holy themselves, and you're courageous enough to be holy yourselves, and you're just figuring, let's see what happens. There could be a nuclear fusion react reaction in all that. There's probably going to be some heat, but then the sun needs some heat and some pressure for fusion to be happening in the sun. Are we up for that heat and that pressure? I believe this, that the stronger our knowing of who we are is, the more prepared we are to enter into a merger. That's true at a corporate level. If a corporate entity doesn't know who it is and what it's about and what it's doing, then it just disappears. It becomes not a merger, it becomes an acquisition. And there's a loss of corporate identity. And maybe the assets of the corporation are being acquired and used, but the, the real value of what might have been there goes away. I believe similar things happen at an individual level. If we're not sure of who we are, if in fact the merger is a compromising of who we are or an attempt to lose who we are and find it in somebody else, there's a diminishment and then necessarily a falling apart. We call that dysfunctional, right? where one person's leaning on somebody else, uh, a person's not shining in their strength in a relationship. All those things, I think, ought to be signposts for us in choosing where it's right to merge, where that's indicated in our life, and where it isn't. And it also says something about how we need to be in a merger. Courageously and uncompromisingly ourselves. And that is exciting, is it not? <laughs>